sharpened and ready to go, and we can talk a little bit about what we've been doing along all along in order to create this business. I just want to get everybody kind of warmed up and ready to roll. Um, one person is talking at a time. So can we just have a quick review, show of hands? We'll go through it quickly. Anybody want to give me the definition of revenue? Yes, excellent. Did everybody hear Ainsley? Ben, did you hear Ainsley? The revenue is the money you receive as well as potentially a flat fee. What would expenses be? Stuff that you need to take away from the money for the revenue. Correct. And what's the arithmetic sign that we would use it for? And then profits. Who wants to tell me how we figure out profit? Rowan, good morning. Um, it's what's left over after the expenses. Correct. So would you say that the plus minus the minus mm -hmm. equals your profits? Is that a pretty good equation? Okay. And then we talked a little bit on Thursday about adjust. Jack, what would the word adjust mean when we're talking in mathematical terms about revenue, expenses, and profits? to adjust? When would we need to adjust? Yeah, we change the price or something. That makes sense. An off-topic question. Can it be really fast? Okay. Do we have school next Monday? No, we do not. In the weekend has come early. So, yes, we do. So, okay, let's move on to the essential. Does anybody recall? This one might be a little more difficult for you folks to come up with. Does anybody remember what I said was the essential? We were talking about how it's essential for everyone to have the values correct in their table so that you can springboard into your graphs and your equations and everything will be accurate. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a culmination of everything that we've done in the last two weeks and write our two-step equations, our tables, our graphs, our noticing our pattern of change. We're going to do revenues, expenses, profits. So you guys are going to create a business that would convince a customer why they would buy from you. Why someone would buy from you as opposed to someone else. And I know I touched upon it a little bit on Thursday. I'd like you to work individually on your business. I'll circulate to help you with any issues that you have. Please put your hand down. I'm almost finished, Mitch, and I'll come to you first, and I'll come to Ansley second, and Patrick third. Um, so we'll work on these projects individually, and then, so we'll do this for two class periods, and then the end of tomorrow, end of Tuesday, you can table, at your table, vote which project you think was the best one, which was the best buy, so to speak, and then that person at the table, one, two, three, four, five, six table groups, will have six presentations, it can just be a quick minute, I'd like to hear why you created your business, and how did you back it up with your data, with your tables, your graphs, your equations, and as extra credit, thanks so much, as extra credit, we are also, I'd like to see you guys show or talk about the pattern of change, okay? And then as our summary at the end, we're gonna create a poster or a brochure, something, it could be an advertisement, like we showed with Wild World Amusement Park, they showed the ticket. That's also considered an advertisement because it gives you your details of information. So when you write the paper, it'll be a short one to two page paper. You'll start out with a little paragraph introducing, just like we do in the book, introducing what's, what the situation is, what the problem is. And in there, you'll put little hints, little things that we can pull out and use to, to demonstrate with our table and our graph and our equation to prove why we went with this company. And you'll also use your equation for profit. Your revenues minus your expenses will equal your profit. And if you really want to go the extra yard, you can throw in an adjustment at the end of your narrative, something that would make us have to adjust the entire problem. 
What we're going to do, and Mitch, I did say I was going to take you first. Sorry about that. Um, what you're going to do is do it individually, okay? And then when everybody's finished Tuesday, maybe midway through the period Tuesday, you will vote as a table. One, two, three, four, five, six. Each table will vote on who they think should present theirs because it's the best buy to go with their company. And those six people will come up and present. And then we'll hang your posters, your brochures, your advertisements. We'll hang them around the room. Um, and Mr. Walker and I are talking about potentially having like the six winners, so to speak, from your class. Maybe put them around the frame of the bulletin board outside. Or maybe we'll do it here. Maybe you guys can come up with what you think would be a good recognition for that. So Mitch, you had a question first. Yeah. So um, for a business associate in the music part, or can it be like, very good question. Thank you for asking that. Um, your product is going to be, you can use something that's like a public thing, like an amusement park, um, a public beach, a bike tour, <coughs> things that you would have lots of components. If you choose to do the components, you can have just a very simplistic company that would just give your basics, your profit, your expense. Um, your revenues, your expense, your profits, or you can make it elaborate and add lots of expenses like we did in 3.3 .3, where we added two or three different expenses and then we adjusted at the end by adding a flat fee. Wait, so so it can be as, as simple as... I'm sorry? Do you do have to do something like a music No, you can, you can talk to me if you don't want to do something that's like a public thing like that and then we'll just... I'll go around after we finish and everybody gets started this morning. I'll go around and make sure everybody's on target. We can do that. Nancy, you had a second. Oh. We answered it. Patrick, was your question answered? Mm -hmm. Are we going to what? The posters? The puzzlers. The puzzlers. You guys got puzzlers on Friday. I think that'd be a great idea to do after we get finished with the presentation at the start. You can put them in your bins where you're usually in the Does that make sense? 